So this is a uh, mini display I've just taken delivery of. Um, fortunately, the loading mechanism uh, seems to be uh, faulty. Um, I'll just show you that it came with um, a disc that was stuck inside. <coughs> that it produces this buzzing noise and then obviously won't load uh, or eject. You can just push that there to release. So um, I'm suspecting the uh, a band or a belt. You can you can hear the motor is trying to to drive something, um, but I'll need to take four screws out and see what's underneath. Okay, so I've taken the mechanism out. It's a relatively simple affair. Uh, you've got the uh, the four bolts as I mentioned earlier and the two connectors just pull out um, quite easily and so this whole unit comes out uh, then this uh, piece of uh, I think it's metal or maybe it's just another plastic uh, piece uh, unhooks from there and then that opens out it pivots down here very nicely and so you can see inside and what is there to see inside? Well, there's obviously this this tray here which slides here. Uh, might uh, want to put an extra bit of lubrication on there. Uh, at the end, um, there's a bit of dust down near the front, which I'll, I'll clean out. But the main event is this. This is the motor. And uh, that drives that, which must drive something underneath, which I can't quite see. But this thing here... That is the belt, is a belt, and it's just it's just disintegrating, absolutely dead. Um, I've just stretched it, and it's 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 you can just feel it's just not not rubbery at all. So that is going to be the culprit, I believe. So I'll order a new one and uh, fit it. Okay, the belt arrived, so. Let's put this new one in. See if we can coax this into place. Okay, there we go. Let's put this mechanism back in and see if it uh, works well. Okay, that clips in nicely now. Okay, let's test it. So mechanism is back in, two cables at the back just slide in easily and the four screws. So let's give it a try. Okay, that goes in nicely. All right. So I guess I can't play any of the actual music for copyright reasons, but uh, it's clearly loading, unloading, and uh, playing, playing nicely. There we go, smooth, smooth as you like. So. I think that's an easy fix. Just to have a quick look inside while we're here. Looks uh, pretty good design, uh, high quality, interesting transformer. There, in fact, two transformers. Um, I'm presuming one for the audio sections, one for motor or digital. But nicely laid out and high quality PCB. All very neat, decent looking components. Uh, in the corner there we've got uh, the headphone and the socket for the keyboard there. So um, yes, I'll enjoy using it. 